I'm going to show you what we're going to do on how we catch the rolling position traders. For example, let's look over the last couple of days and we'll go over today's trading. If you look last couple of days, that's exactly where you want to position yourself in the market. Short, beautiful short signal there. This is a position where you want to position yourself long. I'm going to show you the exact bar how you want to put yourself in that position. Okay, and here's another long here. How we're going to do it is, how you want to look at these markets is very simple. Is This was actually a long position there. So long, short, short, long, long. I can show you how you can position yourself with a very small stop at this high. We'll be doing this coming up, and I'll show you uh, you guys in the room in a minute how I like to do it. And at these lows, based upon the wrongly positioned traders getting in the market, it's all based upon the trend filter, really, is once I get an opposite color bar that fires off, we, we, we have moving averages on our trend filter. But that's not what makes the trend filter very powerful. Uh, what makes the trend filter powerful is the, um, the Rinko bars that we developed with a trend filter built into the Rinko bars. So this is not your standard Rinko bars. Red is ob obviously selling pressure, and green is buying pressure uh, based upon the trend filter that I put into the Rinko bar. So um, that's why these work so well. So when you put a standard Rinko bar up next to this, it really doesn't work that well because this is actually looking at uh, the net uh, buyers versus the net sellers, meaning is there more buying pressure or are there more selling pressure in the market. So what we'd like to do then, if we know the moving averages can help us out, not by by getting in when it crosses over. We're, we don't look at crossovers and not really for support and resistance per se. We like to use them for trend direction. If I'm below all three MAs, especially the, the white dashed line, if my candle is closing below the white dash line, or if my candle is closing above the white dash line, the body of the candle, you can see I was in a downtrend You've the got whole mail. way down here from this point, and then I started my uptrend all the way from here at this point, all the way up. So what you do then is you try to find the wrongly positioned traders, the counter trend traders that are coming in the market based upon the opposite color bar that comes in. So if I know I'm in a downtrend, this doesn't matter what market you trade, then right when that green bar prints, I want to get a, I want to find a way to pull myself in the market. And I want to find a way to get short at this retracement. When this first green bar prints here, I want to find a way to get short on this retracement. When the market starts trending back up, there's a 90% candle body candle close, starts closing above my small MA get inside the intermediate MA, retest it, then you have red bars. I want to try to get long this retracement based upon the trend filter. When it turns red color bar here, I want to try to get long on this retracement. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Um, there's a technique I like to use um, that I will show you in the conference call February 14th. I'll go over with you guys, members in the room uh, now. but there's a way that I like to do it, and we'll go over that uh, here this morning. So um, this right here was a long side setup. Right here is a buy this retracement. Why? I got back inside of my smaller MA, got inside my intermediate. Remember, any 90% candle close above the small MA, you get back in the intermediate, you get a red reversal bar. That tells you that you are still, uh, there's possibly a wave down coming for a wave back up. So this buy, this buy on symmetry dots is a really good buy. Now, how you can time this trade, which I'll go over in the conference call, and I have a small MA on my market delta down here. Here is the exact enter, and I'll put it on a big chart for you. And I'm going to show you this extra MA I like to put on here. This is off the market delta chart. Here's your exact bar to get into the exact bar right there. Right when it closes, oops, right when it closes, a partial candle close above my MA that I have in the room. Now I'm going to show you another MA to put on there for you members on this Renko bar because what happens, this happens all the time when you touch symmetry for continuations. We knew that a red bar came in. Let me put this over here. We knew a red bar came in. Came in. Get that down. See how I do this. It's really neat. 
We knew a red bar came in right here on our trend chart. Here was a sell signal up here this morning too. Let's see how that works. We knew a red bar came in. We're looking for a possible buy. Symmetry hit right there at the low. If you get these two MAs, the MAs, uh, these MAs that I have on here on the Rinko bar are really, they work really well together. We were, we're already in an uptrend when we got the red bar that printed here already. I'll show you how to put this on your own charts. If I get the smaller MA that comes down and touches my longer MA on the market delta, I get positive market delta here, meaning more buyers and sellers. That, uh, when it touches the smaller MA, then it can go down below it a little bit too. It's got a squeeze. It's called a squeeze. It's a squeeze in the market. I don't know if you traders ever heard of a squeeze play. This is a squeeze in the market where they're catching a lot of wrongly positioned traders. When that small MA squeezes and touches that uh, longer MA, you get a pop in the market. And that's what you're going to see when you see um, uh, you, when you see these wrongly positioned traders getting caught. You're going to see we're already in an uptrend or downtrend. It squeezes, and then we get a close, a partial candle close here. And that was a nice, easy trade this morning uh, to the upside based upon that wrongly positioned trader. The same thing happened here. Um, if you go back and look at this high, that happened right around 4.15 this morning. 4.15 this morning, we, we had the same pretty much set up. It was already in a downtrend this morning. And you had the rolling position traders got caught right there. There's a swing high. It actually had several sell signals to fire in the trade. I gave three waves on getting this short here at this uh, high. I'm sorry, let's go back more. Was that 4.15? Yeah, that's 4.15. Um, this was at the high, sorry, and then they had sell, sell signals there. Here is your close below. Right there, your body of the candle. Right there. So after you closed, let's put a big arrow. There you go. After you after you got the wrongly positioned traders coming in, these are green bar, green bar this morning happened uh, right around four, just after four o'clock this morning. So these are the wrongly positioned traders that's pumping the market up, pumping the market up, pumping it up, pumping it up, pumping it up. My Renko bar, once you get a body candle close below, actually it got a little bit of a close. It just has to be a small portion of the body. That, that is your entry. Your stop loss is three ticks above the swing high. That's your stop. So this morning, there's your short all the way down with a very small stop, catching the rolling position traders. That's your short this morning, and here's your best long. Now check it out. There's your best long, three ticks below the swing low. So you can see using this technique is very, very powerful because I got the big with this technique. I got the big swing down right at the swing high pretty much. And then you got the swing high coming up here also. And then you had several opportunities here when the small MAs touched the small MA to pop in the market on these guys right here also. But I'm going to show you the MA I like to use on the four sim Rinko, the two MAs. They work really good. I'll, I'll tell you members here in a minute how to put those on. I like to see this. I like to see this squeeze. It almost looks like a little hump, squeeze down after you get a rolling position traders coming in and then you close right back above it and it's a nice little way to fire in the trade. It's a really good technique and I'm going to show you percentages on this. Um, I got an algorithm that I developed that's going to show me all the way back to January 1, 2018 <clears throat> taking all trades from, <clears throat> from 7 o'clock in the morning to 2.30 in the afternoon and I'll show you multiple different markets and I'll show you the percentages with a um, with a uh, uh, a fixed stop, fixed first target, fixed second target, and a trailing stop. We'll go to that in a conference call also, and I'll show you a year's worth of data using this technique, and it's very, very powerful, very, very accurate. So, But you can see how we want to do it, though. We want to position ourselves based upon the trend filter does it all. 